His peripheral vision must not be very good with that other face on top of his face. Also, do you think he wears it because he doesn't want... Because he doesn't like his face? Or because he just likes wearing other people's faces? Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's a special day in history. August 18th. Do you know what happened on August 18th, 1973? Nearly 50 years ago. I am not recollecting. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really? Yeah. Like, like it actually happened or yeah, the movie was ba made? It's based off true events. Yeah. Yeah. Did it really, though? Did it really, though? I, I don't know. We'll have to find out. But that's what we're watching tonight. The original 1974 film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Great. Starring Leatherface. And so we're throwing another iconic slasher killer into the mix. Okay. And after we're done with this uh, franchise run, you can say, okay, uh, maybe Leatherface could take on Freddy or Jason. Well, if you're saying he's a real person, then... Well, maybe... We don't know. You'll have to decide that for yourself. But yeah, we're going to go through the f first four initial uh, four Texas Chainsaw movies. Not tonight, but over the next this couple guy, weeks. This guy lasted four different times? Yeah. All right, so it's fake. Think so? Why would... Yeah. Okay. Why would they... Well, they say it's based on a true story. movies. Because the first one made money. So he's not a real guy. We'll have to find out. Boy, they really blew that one, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, but we're going through the first uh, they continuity. They really could have like capitalized on truly terrifying people if they wouldn't have made four of them, <laughs> right? You don't think this guy could have four different massacres? No. No? Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. But uh, yeah, we'll go through the first initial continuity of the four movies. And then there's actually been two different sets of remakes in the last 20 years, too. So, we'll get to those sometime in the future, maybe for a remake month. Great. So, you ready to rip up, rip up your chainsaw? Well, it says it's the most horrifying motion picture I have ever seen. Yep. So. Guy named Rex said that. Can't wait. Should we jump in and watch it? <laughs> First, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for the most terrifying motion picture that Rex Ryan Reed has ever seen. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full link commentary, access to pulls ups, pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram if you have it and you want to follow us, do it. If you don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Unless you want to. Right. Let's watch The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, great. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. They could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. Annals? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've never heard that word. Really? Annals? In the, the butt of the history of America, huh? Yeah. August 18th, 1973. I don't... I don't like this. Couldn't we just turn the lights on, folks? Oh. Ew. Should've wore sunscreen. It looks like his face is melting jello. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art. The remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff, no suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. Oh, what's going on? This one's grave robbing. By the armadillo across the road. He could have gone in the van. 
It's not a spill, though. That's true, I guess. Oh. Oh no. You okay? Up to ten feet. When malefic planets are in retrograde, and Saturn's malefic, okay, their malefic is increased. Have you been doing those readers digest word power columns again? Gary, it just means Saturn's a bad influence. It's just particularly a bad influence now because it's in retrograde. How are the planets aligned right now? I have no idea. I thought you followed that kind of stuff. Yeah. You don't read Reader's Digest? They're, they still make Reader's Digest? I don't think so. Probably. <laughs> it's probably digital now. My granddaddy's buried here. Can we find out if anything happened to him? You go tell him your granddaddy's buried in there. I didn't know anything. I didn't know why. Ah, things happen here about. A bunch of weirdos, huh? Remember when we watched Tucker and Dale? Yeah. We're only seeing the context through the eyes of the main characters. Not through the eyes of the rednecks in this one. Right? Gotcha. What's that? What smell? <laughs> that silver slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. They bash him in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, well, that's awful. It usually wouldn't kill him on the first lick. Just smells like, like manure. Does kick you in the face with that smell if you're not used to it, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now they got this big air gun that shoots a bolt into their skull and then retracts it. It's just boom, it goes boom, and it's boom, I like me. Please boom. change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine how much the cows would be overpopulating the world if we weren't eating them. Because they breed so frequently? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like beef. <laughs> Me too. She needs a steak is what she needs. <laughs> oh, we're going to pick up a hitchhiker? Seems like a bad plan. Have you ever done it? No. Yeah. I would never pick up a hitchhiker. Oh, okay. Where are you headed, man? South. You work at that place? Oh, did you get stuck way out here? I, I was at the slaughterhouse. Is he okay? Look. I was the killer. <laughs> they don't send the heads away. You took these, uh, huh? Yeah. Questionable? They take the head and they boil it, except for the tongue. Because the tongue is good meat. Mm -hmm. I some good meat on the tongue. I'm not sick. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Dude? <laughs> please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. <gasps> what are you doing to yourself? But why? I have this knife. Good night. I'm sure it is, man. Like how the drivers don't even. You just keep going. At this point, do you want to, like, risk Stopping. pissing him off? <laughs> what are you doing? Can I help you? You're watching Pocahontas, though. What? Tale as old as time. <clears throat> True as it could be. Taking the last picture they'll ever have together. Say cheese. <laughs> it's the last time you'll ever be seen alive. You could take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. We're in pretty much of a hurry. You like head cheese. My brother makes it real good. You like it. I think we better push on, man. 
Is this brother Leatherface? It's a nice picture. You can pay me now. Huh? Two dollars. It's a good picture. <laughs> this is why you don't pick up hitchhikers. It's gonna light on fire. Is he gonna cook up heroin right in front of them? No. Yeah? No? I don't know. What the fuck? Pull the fuck over, dude! Why is it taking him so long to drive away? The truck just drove by. So what? Pull out in front of that fucker. That's the last goddamn hitchhiker I ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. It's also the first one he ever picked up. Thought it'd be a good idea. There are moments when we cannot believe that what is happening is really true. Pinch yourself and you may find out that it is. Should have read that before you picked up a hitchhiker. <laughs> What part of the world are we in? Texas. Texas. We slaughter barbecue. Sounds great. I got no gas. You're out of gas? My tank's empty. Transport won't be here until late this afternoon. I got some good barbecue here. Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? Hey, we have a Coke machine. Looks just like that. Yep. And that guy cut the hell out of himself. You think you could do that to yourself? Like crazy? Yeah, but, you know. It, it takes something, though. I mean... Don't just... do it. I couldn't have washed, washed the blood off the van. That would have been Damn. helpful. He's marking it. What do you write? It's just as marking, like, these kids are idiots. Kill them first. <laughs> they pick up random hitchhikers. <laughs> you think that guy's just trying to scare us by, you know, blowing up my picture like that? It's probably some voodoo ritual or something, right? Right. Witchcraft. Just trying to tell you that you're going to go first. It's a big old creepy house. Just need to trim the hedges. Hedges are growing inside the house, it looks like. So sucking on that sausage? Ugh. Here, man, you wash it off. Hey, you don't think that guy would try and follow us, do you? Definitely. Looks like it must have been a nursery room. Oh, this, is, this is my room. I got to stay here one time when I was eight years old. The house looks like it's been abandoned longer than 15 years. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Bunch of daddy long legs. Sir, eat the sausage or get rid of it. Stop smoking it like a stogie. Maybe it's got a good smoky flavor. He's getting pissed. You fuckers are leaving me out. He has had a bit of a rough day so far. <laughs> Fell out of his chair, rolled down that hill, got attacked by that crazy guy. Didn't you say there's a swimming hole around here? Yeah. Uh, there used to be a trail down between those two old sheds. Oh boy. Sally? Sally? Oh, oh boy. Seems to be a ritual sacrifice sort of situation, huh? Some sort of curse placed on the house? Just normal old house decorations. Yeah. Human bones hanging from the ceilings. 
gasoline. I can leave him my guitar, or, you know, give him a couple bucks. We gotta come back by here anyway. I can pick up my guitar and give him a couple more dollars. It's not the place you want to go. Hey, come here! Yeah, I mean, snooping around p other people's farms? Not a good idea. Those are all the cards of the people that he's killed. Or they just like collecting bugs. See a bunch of yards like that around here. I got a bench swing. It's a hefty bench swing. I mean, railroad ties. Hello, is anybody home? Human tooth, great. Got something for you. I don't ever understand this, like, oh, the door's open, I'll just go inside somebody else's house, a total stranger's house. Like, what if they're hurt because the door's ajar? And... That's their problem. Looks like he maybe worked at the slaughterhouse, huh? Big mallet. He was wearing somebody else's face. Cool. Super. Why did he sound like a pig? I don't know. Her? To attract the other pigs to the slaughter. Lovely hides all over the hide wallpaper. Ooh, what do we got behind door number one? Got their own apartment, chicken. Oh, God. Lots of teeth. Lots of bones. What the fuck? That is some interesting decor. Really making that bench his own. I'm thinking about what kind of couch we should get in the living room upstairs. I, I know now. Oh god. He's a big guy. Is he gonna hook her? Oh no. He's gonna get you, Franklin. He's coming to get you. You don't think it means anything? It's like a bird or something. Listen, I think I'll walk down to the creek before it gets too dark. How do I get there, Frank? Oh boy. I never saw swimming place down there did you they were walking in it it was dry it was dry you really are mad huh oh i, I don't blame you those pants are rough like sear camel toe more like a moose knuckle <laughs> either way did you believe in all that stuff that pam was telling about saturn and retrograde and all that I, you know, you gotta be jealous of the 70s, the confidence that women had in the 70s. Like, no bra, just free nipples. Yeah. It's bold and brave. I don't have that kind of confidence. That's too bad. <laughs> Oh, great. Another one bites the dust. Are you guys in there? <laughs> hey guys, quit playing games. Quit Pam, is that you? 
Oh, great. She's not on the hook anymore. He got away. He got hit with a sledgehammer and he just got ran away. Good on him. I don't think he ran away. He's just a straw that he's had three trespassers he's had to deal with today. Yeah. What's on your mind? Just creepy. <laughs> We ought to go to that gas station and get help. I'm not leaving here without Jerry. Jerry! 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 Is it Jerry or Gary? Jerry. Isn't she Gary? She said Gary, too. It sounded like she said, we're not leaving here without Jerry, and then she said, Jerry! Gary! <laughs> <laughs> Sally, I think we ought to go. Was this like a made-for-TV movie? No, it's just an independent film. The acting's not amazing. Sally, wait a minute. I'm coming with you. Sally, hold up a bit now. Let's go. I'll, I'll go with you. Sally? Sally, wait a minute. Poor Franklin. Just wants to be included. Yeah. He's a big guy, too. It's probably hard to push on dirt. Jerry! Jerry! Maybe his name is Gary, and he's just not call coming back because they're not calling the right name. <laughs> You're saying the wrong name! He thought he heard Gary that one time, and then they started saying Jerry again. He's like, oh, no, they're just calling for somebody named Jerry. Yeah, I can't see it very well. Oh, Franklin, this is awesome. Just imagine having to push him back up the hill. Hey, Jay! 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 Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Oof. <sighs> <sighs> He was out just trimming the bushes and ran into yeah. Franklin. Whoops, sorry. Oh, he don't care, huh? Oh, is that his house? Oh, it's his house. They're not gonna help you there, honey. Still left his keys outside or inside. It's his mommy and daddy. Ooh, she's looking like really old beef jerky. vision must not be very good with that other face on top of his face. Also, do you think he wears it because he doesn't want because he doesn't like his face or because he just likes wearing other people's faces? Getting into the psychology of the face here. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's because he doesn't want people to know who he is because he was wearing it around the house before they got there. Well, maybe it's just a moisturizer mask or something. Could be. He's exfoliating today. Exfoliating? That's what I said. It's not like you said exfoliating. <laughs> He's exfoliating. Exfoliating. <laughs> I 
he's keeping up really well for as big a guy as he is. They're closed. Is he like Leatherface's uncle or something? She's not gonna throw herself in that barbecue, is she? It's a human sausage. Is he cooking human sausage in there? It's a family business. Human slaughterhouse. Why are you smiling? You, you got no need to worry. No! No, no, you just cooperate, young lady, and we'll have no trouble. Not out of here. What do you want? She swept the leg. This family got a taste of something they liked working at the slaughterhouse, killing all those beef. Now they, uh, now that they don't get to do that anymore, they get to kill all these humans. Or maybe it's a community competition. How much how human many, meat they can sell? How many humans can you kill? And yeah, how many humans can you slaughter and butcher and feed to other people? <laughs> He's like, I'm not letting that leather face take this one. Nope, she's mine. That's why I never eat gas station sausage. That's why she tried. That's why he tried to get him to stay at the gas station till his. Gas came in. Uh, I hope you're not too uncomfortable down there. <laughs> Poking her with a fucking stick. <laughs> we will be there soon. <laughs> They're all brothers. Crazy van guy, Leatherface, this guy. They're brothers. He's the most normal. Think so? He's the most socially n normal. Although this is. This is making me question that. Half wait. Little is brother. I told you to stay away from that graveyard. So he's the grave robber. Looks like it. Look what your brother did to that dog. <laughs> Uncle. Uncle. Oh, it's daddy? I thought the old people upstairs were mom and dad, but grandma and grandpa, huh? Take it easy. Uh, we'll have some meat right away. Uh oh. I'm gonna feed her, her friends. No, that's not her arm. No, that's the arm from the chair. Oh. You didn't notice that's that? The that's the arm of the chair. <laughs> It's kind of dangerous. You should probably just leave Grandpa on the main floor. Right. Stop moving him back up, up and down the stairs. Look, Grandpa, look, look. You got Grandpa a new girlfriend? <laughs> He's alive. I did not see that one coming. He's a zombie? Dracula? His finger looking good. He was alive? Yeah. <laughs> Must feed on the blood of a virgin or something? Oh, 
Oh yeah, Leatherface is like, I want to wear that hair. Do you think he's already wearing her friend? No. Grandpa has some fun. You always said he's the best. He's the best, all right. Just let him have a whack. Hey, Grandpa! He can barely chew. How is he going to whack anything? My old grandpa's the best killer there ever was. I never took more than one lick, they say. Oh, it must be a cousin, then. Where are their parents? Where's mom? Yeah, when he drops it on her head, it's really gonna go quickly, huh? The best killer there ever was. Holy, she's screaming a lot. What would you be doing? Well, can you imagine as an actress having to scream that much? They'll never catch up. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Haul ass, buddy. Don't get out. Why wouldn't we just drive away? Takes a while. He wasn't making much progress with that saw on the side of the metal door. <laughs> the engine stalled. I don't know that I could physically scream that much for that long. I don't know that I could She's physically crazy. do it. Wow. Well, honestly, that was not what I was really expecting. I was expecting Leatherface. Like, I just know about him. Yeah. So I was expecting a guy wearing somebody else's face. I wasn't expecting a guy wearing, like, several different faces. And he leaned towards female faces, which I think is an interesting psychological yeah. aspect to it. Makes me think he... And the way that he was taking care of his grandpa, I mean, he's the caretaker of that family, which yeah. is really interesting. I don't know why that, that intrigues me at all. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. I also was not expecting a whole family of them. A whole family of crazy lunatics. Right. Harvesting humans and making sausage out of them. Right. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Well. That was surprising. Yeah. But, uh. Um, interesting 70s horror in that only the one jump scare, really. Yeah. And the rest were two jump scares, maybe. And the rest of the tension was just in the camera angles zooming mm. and panning in on her face and getting close to the eyeball yeah. and just the creepiness the psychological yeah 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 interesting the horrifying right i imagine modern texas chainsaws are much more jump scare heavy and yeah in your face with gore yeah this kind of kicked off the whole slasher genre mm -hmm. this film was one of the first we watched black christmas that was another one of the first ones but mm -hmm. uh this was definitely you can see a lot of uh, the blueprint for what's to come in the genre. Yeah. That we've watched a couple mm -hmm. other franchises like Friday the 13th and, or Halloween. That's... Now, did they just not do a lot of gore back then just because, well, A, it wasn't the style, but... The rating system. The rating system would allow it. Yeah. Movies wouldn't allow it back then. 
Gore has definitely gotten And now they don't give a shit. They'll let me show anybody anything. When we went through Friday the 13th, a lot of this, the gore from that had to be cut down. Right. And nowadays, that gore doesn't seem to be an issue anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. It's just an issue. It's interesting to see how the, the rating system has evolved over the last mm-hmm. years. Last 40 years or so. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. He only killed one person with the chainsaw, though. Just Franklin. That is correct. So would you call that a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Or the no. Texas Chainsaw Murder? I would call... The Texas ma- Mallet uh, yeah, Massacre? Yeah, really. I mean, they killed more people with that freaking uh, sledgehammer than anything. Yeah. Oof. Who was your favorite? I think they're all brothers. Yeah, either. Yeah, it must be brothers. Yeah. That's what I initially guessed, but then he just kept saying, Your brother... You're supposed to watch your brother. Yeah. Like he wasn't owning him. <laughs> like he's not my brother if he does something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Who's your favorite? Uh, the youngest one was maybe the creepiest to me. Yeah. Because he was just so unhinged. Yeah. Cutting himself. Yeah. Clearly had like you know, blood huge all over marks place. all over his face. Yeah. Like he had been doing damage to himself. And This is going to be weird to say. But I want to say Leatherface. While maybe the most brutal killer, again, has a tender side. <laughs> you think he has a tender side? I mean, you saw him taking care of his grandfather, yeah, feeding, feeding him. him. Yeah. He's clearly the caretaker in that family. He keeps the house, yeah. the housekeeper, right? The older brother goes and works. Yeah. The younger brother gallivants around like a crazy lunatic. And robs he, things from the graveyard. stays at home and takes care of the house yeah. and makes sure that all the... Furniture is decorated. <laughs> oh, you think you think Leatherface is the one doing all the absolutely, home decoration? Absolutely, absolutely. I think he is the caretaker of that home, and he wears female faces around. I mean, he just he has got he's a tender, tender gentleman. Okay. Well, this is the only uh, Texas Chainsaw movie I have watched. Oh, really? So the other the next three, three are... will be first time watches for all of us. Oh boy! So. How come you haven't seen the other three? Just never got around to it. Not your favorite killer, so... Yeah. I felt like the first one was enough I needed to see. I never had... He wasn't like Jason to me. Like a, I was I was, I was honestly expecting me. a basement mole creature. Yeah. More like um, Silence of the Lamps. Uh, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. I think Buffalo Bill kind of took some inspiration from this. I imagine, like, yeah. The whole wearing people's skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huge fan of Leatherface. Yeah, so next week, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Great, can't wait. Yeah, the buzz is back. Love it. That's the tagline for it. You think it's the whole family? We'll have to find, oh, well, minus the little brother. He's oh, yeah, that's right. He just got smushed. <laughs> so. Guess we'll see. Yeah. Leatherface almost cut his leg off. Hopefully Grandpa's still kicking. And Grandpa will still be kicking? Probably. Okay. Well, what should people comment on? Favorite brother. Yeah, who's your favorite member of the family? Yeah, there you go. Member of the family. I guess Maybe we don't like grandpa. We don't know that they're brothers. Like sucking on fingers. Could be. Could That's be. That's your thing. Yeah. Anything else? Thanks for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe if you didn't already. Yeah, Come back next week for number two. Texas chainsaws. So many chainsaws coming. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full link commentary, access to polls, those people we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.